my name is Heather Stone. I work at Cedar Ridge High School and I am the color guard director. Joining us from Round Rock, Texas, please welcome the Cedar Ridge High School Marching Band. Um, I really love working at this program. This is my, this is gonna be my sixth year here at Cedar Ridge. And I think what I value the most being here um, is that we've created a really strong culture uh, between the staff, uh, the consistency of, of who we are in front of the kids and how we teach and our approach has really made a difference um, in the success of the Cedar Ridge program. And so it's really nice that we have that ability to bounce off of each other and use each other's strengths and weaknesses and be confident in that and not feel as though anybody's stepping on toes in any way. Uh, we get to uh, you know, work with one another to create the, the product that we all envision, whether there's differences in that vision, we meet halfway and then, and then it works really well from there. So it's exciting. Hi, my name is Janasia, and I'm on rifle and flag, and I am a junior. Hi, my name is Casey. Uh, I'm a junior, and I am the captain. Hi, my name is Soren. I am a sophomore. I do football, rifle, and flag. And first of all, what do you play? Like, what's I your play position? nose guard. Nose guard? All right. It's pretty... I would say, I wouldn't say easy because I do have to miss like a day of practice, of rehearsal because football games are on that day. But besides that, if you can like figure out like when to like leave and like go to like color guard rehearsal, it's pretty easy. Six, seven, 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 well, actually I had a friend in color guard in like last year and they were in color guard at the time. So they were like, oh, I have no friends here. You want to come try it out? And I came and tried it out. and. I got along with so many people that I individually stayed through high school. And then I also joined the football team at the same time. So then I had to figure out like the time differences and how to like manage my time there while getting enough practice there while also being able to come back to Color Guard and get enough practice to like know everything on the field. Cause Color Guard and football you're both ex you're like exercising your body a lot and pretty much there's only like, the only difference is it's like, it's football and then it's like color guard. So you technically, the difference is only the sport. That's pretty much it. It's basically the same thing. You're getting stamina help and everything. Hello, my name is Rick Rodriguez, Cedar Ridge High School. Percussion director, associate band director. Uh, I'll be starting my 13th year here. Opened up the school back in 2010. season right now it's like this is really our second year with the new crop of of uh percussionists i feel like last year um was like i i call it like planting the seeds you know i actually did a clinic on that from seed to harvest back in 2014 but i feel like last year we started from from the ground and all and, and went as far as we could and it was a really fulfilling year last year and this year is like we're taking off from the end of last year so it's this is, I think it's very re rewarding for any student to be part of the percussion program here at Cedar Ridge this for starting for this 2022 year. Most of them start in middle school, but um, I mean, some of them uh, don't make it this far as you know, like I, I know other percussion programs have their struggles, but we've had some struggles um, recently. And uh, 
So like in percussion, for, for instance, the fr front ensemble, um, we only have four marimbas this year and three of the four are double reed players. And about half of the vibraphones are double reed players. So, yeah, we yeah. So we make it happen. Sometimes it takes a lot of work from the staff and and uh, just trying to fulfill those positions throughout. So it's definitely a challenge, but it's very rewarding in the end. In the end, meaning for the end of marching season, and then we start again in January. Semi recruiting, if you will. My name is Elissa Ray. I'm a junior, and I play snare. Hi, my name's Kiana Law. I'm a junior and I play marimba and oboe. It's really fun. It's, uh, it's really like a family. Like all of us, we like support each other and uh, like encourage one another to like push ourselves. And I think we also like the environment is, uh, like we all want to strive for like excellence and we all want to push ourselves to be the very best we can. So that environment of like everyone pushing each other and working together to like meet the same goal is really cool. I would agree like a lot. I've never had like such a strong feeling of like having a second family. Like whenever I'm around like my section and like we're just all together, it just feels like super natural and like we all like love being around each other and like in terms of like our goal, we, I feel like a lot of us are like all on the same page, which is really nice because like we're all around each other all the time. So it's like really nice knowing that this person next to me wants to strive and have the same goal as me. BOA San Antonio finals and- What year? This past year. And um, we were, we had just finished our show and we were uh, walking off the field and we heard Mr. Rod from the stands yell like incredible percussion. And like we all kind of like stopped because we heard him yell and we didn't know if it was a good one or a bad one. And so uh, we all like stopped and we looked at each other and we were like, did you just hear that? And it was just so like, just, it was such a good feeling to like know that all the work we had put in, like it really paid off that Mr. Rod thought it was incredible. Like that feeling of just like accomplishment was really cool. I would also have to agree. I remember that like moment very vividly because I feel like we we get a lot of feedback from our director obviously, but it's never or not never, but it's hard to get that like 100% satisfaction, but after BOA San Antonio finals, it just felt like pure bliss and mm -hmm. satisfaction and like going back to the hotel that night and just like sleeping and feeling like we did that and like that's all of our hard work like right right there, it, was, it just happened, and it was amazing. Goals for this group this year, uh, comparatively, we're a little bit more vet-based this year. Last year we had 26 brand new members, so the dynamic was significantly different than it is this year. We have less new members, way more vets. Uh, so, you know, just pushing them a little harder. I think trying to start a little earlier with, you know, the choreography and, and challenging them in that sense of, you already know most of the basics, so now what can we do with that and how can we be a little bit more creative with that to make it exciting for you? So we're just constantly, uh, you know, okay, well, they know how to do this. Let's make it a little bit more hard, you know, harder, a little bit more exciting, add a little bit more body. That's kind of our goal this year is to just take them up a couple more levels as performers and, and just see what they're capable of. Because, I mean, we have the trust in them. So now we just have to make sure that they can find that trust in themselves. The goal right now, uh, last year, is basically from for percussion, uh, I'll stick with percussion realm, is starting from, I'll call it nothing, but it, we were definitely something. And we brought them up to, I guess we graduated to where we can do what, we, what the staff has, the students can do what the staff has asked them to do. This year, it's, we're going to be musicians on the field. That's the... The motto, if you will, is now we're going to be musicians on the field. I 
I am very excited about the show this year. Uh, the show is called In the Midnight Hour, and it is the more or less the story of we're gargoyles, the color guard are gargoyles. It's very exciting. The kids are so pumped. Uh, they're all about like the weird and the different, so they're very into it. Um, and and it's it's more or less about you know the sunset happens, gargoyles come to life. They hide as part of the building during the day, and that midnight hour. They come to life and they're, they're there to ward off the evil spirits and protect the buildings that they are a part of. So it's, it's super in your face. It's very colorful, which I love, very sunset colors to represent that aspect of it. Um, there's going to be horns, there's going to be wings, there's going to be just the coolest stuff you've ever seen. So the kids are pumped, we're pumped. Um, and you know, a little bit of Billy Idol in there. Can't get enough of that. Love it. And some Shostakovich. And so that combination is going to be really cool. There's so many like lessons you learn and like things that uh, like that you can take with you in life, like whatever career you choose, like responsibility and accountability, like things like that, like how to take responsibility for yourself and uh, also how to work in such a large like with such a large group of people and like still make like connections with everyone. Like I think that's really cool because you can use that wherever you go. So yeah. Yeah. It's taught me like a lot of social skills, which I felt like I didn't have before, but like coming into percussion and like doing all of this, it's taught me a lot of social skills and responsibility as well. And yeah, you can like take it anywhere, like no matter what you do, like being around a lot of people, like doing something you love with a lot of people, like the feeling and like the things you learn from that, you can like take throughout your entire life. We, uh... I think the, what makes us Cedar Ridge and, and what, what I feel proud of is, is getting the kids to love this. Is that's, that's the, I think everybody that's in this percussion program, they're here and they want to be here. And I truly can say that from the bottom of my heart that I, you know, I trust that every kid, and you can see that. They're, the ones that, you know, they, they trickle off if they're like, this is not for me. They're, they're out of here pretty early, you know, they're like, but I don't see that very often. If they're here, they're, they stick it out. So I think I'm, I'm most proud of that. Like kids that are here want to be here and they'll come back for more. And they, you know, like they'll, they'll do basically whatever we ask them to do without any kind of, you know, rebuttal. We're all, even though we do a lot of time here, we're all one family. It's not like, oh, we get tired of each other. We're all here, we're all in this together. Just that we are always pushing ourselves to our limit and want to do the best for each other. Yeah. And that it may not seem like we're actually like doing something like as a sport, but it technically is a sport. Just that, like we we, like like our statement is like strive for excellence, and that's never gonna you know stop. Like we always, at, like our program and our band really in the color guard. Like we all, everyone agrees. Like we will strive for excellence, and we will all push ourselves to be the very best individual, so that the group as a whole can like thrive in the competitive area. From Round Rock, Texas, the Cedar Ridge High School Marching Band. 